begin with breaking news. Shano County officials aren't sure when they'll release the names of three teens killed in a crash. The crash happened last night on Highway 22 in the town of Belle Plaine. Officials say it appears a car lost control and crossed the center line and was hit by an oncoming SUV. Two people died at the scene. Two others were taken to the hospital where one later died. Authorities say an 18-year-old man from Shano, a 17-year-old boy from Shano, and a 15-year-old girl from Bondewell were killed. Emily Deem just spoke with the Shano District Administrator and joins us with new information. Good morning, Emily. Rachel, good morning to you. Hi, everyone. The superintendent says this is a very somber morning. We are near the Shano Community High School this morning where staff and students are learning about a crash that killed two of their classmates and left one in critical condition. That crash also killed a 15-year-old girl from Bonduel. School started about a half an hour ago. The superintendent, Gary Cumberland, spoke with me this morning. He came outside to talk to me, saying staff has been briefed and that the entire student body was going to be notified of the situation during first period. First period was about 15 minutes ago. Cumberland did say many students were aware of the crash last night, took to social media to express their thoughts and prayers for the victims. Some have tweeted hashtag prayers for crew 22. Cumberland says he needs to be there for everyone involved. Visible. I need to be there. I need to be there. I need to comfort. I need to talk to people if they need to be talked to. We need to, we need each other right now. This is going to be this is going to be a, a tough time for for the Shano School District for the city of Shano, um, and we just need each other. And I think that's that's the best thing we can do at this time is just comfort and be with each other. And counselors and social workers will be on hand for any students or staff who need to talk to someone today. Like we told you before, the Shano County Sheriff's Department has not released the name of the victims, but they do. They, we do know that they will um, reconstruct the scene. So if we learn any more details, we'll be sure to bring them to you on air, but also online at fox11online.com. For now, we'll send it back to you.